What's going on everyone, Dots Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you guys a beginner overview to the Demon Hunter class in World of Warcraft, giving you an introduction to the class and some beginner setups that you can use to get used to your class and its mechanics. Now, if you are a brand new player to WoW and are watching this video, I also recommend checking out my World of Warcraft Complete Beginner Guide, which will teach you all the non-class specific things you need to know to get yourself started in WoW. But without further ado, let's get into today's video covering the Demon Hunter class. Demon Hunters, also known as the Illidari, are disciples of Illidan Stormrage. They embrace the fell and chaotic magics, believing that these dangerous magical forces are necessary to challenge the Burning Legion. Wielding these demonic powers, they've also come to develop demonic features that resemble the demons they've slain. Demon Hunters made a pact to fight fire with fire, using chaos and demonic magic against those who originally wielded these forces. They also ritually blind themselves in exchange for spectral sight that enables them to better sense their prey even if they are stealthed or hiding behind walls, wearing their trademark blindfold to cover up the self-inflicted wounds. They wield warglaves in battle and call upon demonic magic to augment their abilities. Demon Hunters have two specialization options, Vengeance, which is a tank specialization, and Havoc, which is a damage dealing specialization. Both of the Demon Hunter specs have a focus on melee damage and high mobility, and they specialize in strong area of effect burst damage. Demon Hunters also have the ability to double jump with a third click of your jump button, having your Demon Hunter spread its wings and glide to safety. A Demon Hunter primary resource is Fury, which they build up with certain attacks and spend on others. In addition, they wear leather armor, use agility as their primary stat to augment their physical and chaos attacks, and can utilize a wide variety of weapons, including warglaves, fist weapons, one-handed axes, and swords. But now that we have a brief summary of the class out of the way, let's get into the specializations and what they have to offer. Now, the following builds that I have are going to be tailored to new players looking to make your rotation as easy and as straightforward as possible while adding as few additional skills to your action bars. Thankfully, though, when it comes to Demon Hunter, the class is pretty straightforward and doesn't have that many keybinds so the difference between like a new player build and an advanced talent build selection isn't all too different as many of the demon hunters available talents are actually additional passive abilities however if you are looking for a more advanced focused guide i do recommend checking out icy veins or wowhead for write-ups more tailored towards endgame raids mythic plus and rated pvp now, starting with the first specialization, we have the Havoc Demon Hunter. And for our talent spec on our first tier, we are going to be going with Demonic Appetite. Now, this has Chaos Strike, which is one of your primary Fury spenders. Give a chance to spawn a purple soul fragment on the ground that not only grant additional Fury, but give you a heal, which is extremely helpful when questing. The second talent we're going to take is Burning Hatred, giving your Immolation Aura a skill in your arsenal that cloaks you in flame and that you'll be using pretty much on cooldown, the added ability to generate fury over its duration. Our third talent is going to be Trail of Ruin, which gives your Blade Dance, a pow which is a powerful AoE skill that you have, a hard-hitting dot on its final strike. Our fourth talent is Soul Rending, which grants you passive leech at all times and additional leech when you pop your biggest offensive cooldown, Metamorphosis. Now, this turns some of your damage into additional healing, helping you passively heal up while you remain on the offensive. Our fifth talent is going to be First Blood, which makes Blade Dance, the ability I discussed not too long ago cost less fury and also increasing its power against the first target hit making it a viable single target skill as opposed to just being you know mostly good in only aoe situations our sixth talent is going to be fell eruption which gives you a strong single target stun to help you stop enemies in their tracks for four seconds our final regular talent is going to be Demonic, which makes your Eye Beam, which is probably your strongest Fury spender, also put your put you into Demon form, which is the form that you enter when you actually use your big offensive cooldown, Metamorphosis, and it puts you in this form for six seconds after you finish dealing damage with that Eye Beam. Now, if you do choose to venture into PvP on your Demon Hunter, these are the three PvP talents I do recommend that you take, with the first one being mortal rush which is a pvp talent that decreases the amount of healing that targets hit by your fell rush which is your primary movement speed skill uh 
has them receive a lot less healing. It's a really, really new powerful thing that came to Demon Hunter. Our next talent is going to be Reverse Magic, which rever removes harmful magical effects from yourself and nearby allies, sending them back to their original caster. This is a really strong utility skill that the Demon Hunter can provide to their team in a PvP environment. And our final talent is going to be Detainment. Now, this makes your prison a imprison a single target CC that the Demon Hunter has into a stronger version of itself by preventing the target affected by the CC from receiving any damage or healing, which would it with the original version, which would break it and make it last longer. However, this does come at a cost with the abilities cooldown increasing to one minute. Now, in terms of a rotation for your Demon Hunter, how to actually play it and deal damage, it is relatively straightforward. You just simply want to build up Fury by casting Demon's Bite, which is like your spammable attack, basically. And you will be spending it on Blade Dance and I-Beam. Now, if those two skills are on cooldown, you will instead spend your Fury on Chaos Strike. You will also be activating Immolation or on cooldown to make sure that it is generating as much passive fury for you as possible via the burning hatred talent. Now, in terms of additional offense, you know, if you want to go offensive, you just basically do the exact same thing, except for you pop your metamorphosis while you go and do it. If you do want to play defensively, you want to be sure to collect the soul fragments as they are coming off of your enemies, not only to generate fury, but because they do heal you a little bit. If you are fine, you know, if you find yourself taking a lot of damage, Pop Blur, which will reduce your damage taken by 20% for 10 seconds, and it will also increase your dodge chance by 50%. Now, if you do find yourself and or an ally in need of defense, and let's say Blur is on cooldown or there's an ally in need of aid, use Darkness instead to give you and your allies a 20% chance to avoid all damage for 8 seconds as long as you stand in the Darkness area. Now, when you are outnumbered, use CCs like Chaos Nova, Fell Eruption, and or Imprisoned to help crowd control your enemies. You can also use Strong Mobility with Fell Rush and Vengeful Retreat to help avoid damage and keep your opponents at a distance. Now, in terms of Shadowlands specific information, I'm not going to go too crazy in depth with this section, but I do just kind of want to touch on some of the Shadowlands systems. If you do want to know what should I be using on my Havoc Demon Hunter, in terms of Covenant, I do recommend going the Venthyr Covenant. The Venthyr ability is extremely good for Havoc Demon Hunters. And in terms of a strong and easy legendary to grab, I do recommend grabbing the Memory of Inner Demons. Now, keep in mind, there are better legendaries for Havoc Demon Hunters, such as the Memory of Collective Anguish, but that comes from the raid tier in Shadowlands. And since the purpose of this guide is more beginner focused, I tried to pick a legendary that doesn't require you to actually run the raid to acquire it. Now with the damage dealing spec out of the way, let us move into the tank spec, our first tank spec that I'm doing this beginner guide on for the Demon Hunter, and that is the Vengeance Tank, with our first talent being Agonizing Flames. Now, this causes your Immolation Aura, as I mentioned earlier, kind of cloaks you in fire, and you'll be using this on cooldown, deals damage to enemies around you. It makes that skill last 50% longer, and you also move 20% faster. Our second talent is Burning Alive. Now, this talent makes your Fiery Brand a skill that heavily reduces how much damage an enemy deals to you. Uh, it spreads to additional enemies, every two seconds now the third talent kind of cut ties these first two talents together and it is charred flesh so immolation aura's damage will make fiery brand last 0.5 seconds longer when it ticks on your enemies so like i said this combined with the first two talents will help you have a long lasting fiery brand on multiple targets around you heavily reducing the amount of damage you take from all enemies surrounding you so it's a really strong talent combination and it's pretty much all kind of done passively now the fourth talent we are going to take is feed the demon so consuming a soul fragment which gets generated from sheer which is one of your skills reduces the cooldown on demon spikes which is a skill that gives you additional armor and higher parry chance by 0.5 seconds now by taking this talent it makes it so that you can have these demon spikes available as often as possible so you can really be using this extra defensive mitigation when you need it now our fifth talent is going to be concentrated sigils which makes your sigils a bit easier to use for a newer player by always placing them at your location and extending their effects 
by two seconds. Our sixth talent is going to be Demonic. So similarly to the Havoc Demon Hunter's version of Demonic, your Fell Devastation, which is your strongest Fury Spender for Vengeance, puts you into Demon Form, which is the format you enter when you use Metamorphosis for six seconds after it finishes dealing damage, again, similar to the Havoc Demonic talent. And then our final talent for Vengeance, though, is going to be Last Resort, which gives you an additional life every eight minutes, preventing fatal damage and instead causing you to enter Demon Form. Now, if you do choose to, let's say, to bring your PvP, uh, excuse me, bring your Vengeance tank into, let's say, PvP battle rounds to flag carry or defend points or something, these are some talents I would recommend taking to help make yourself more useful to your team. And with your first talent being Detainment, so that, again, similar to how I discussed in the Havoc section, this makes your Imprison, which is a single target CC that the Demon Hunter has, into a stronger version of itself by preventing targets from receiving damage or healing, making it last longer as well, but it does increase the cooldown to one minute. The second talent is going to be Tormentor. Now, the reason I always take this on my tanks is because at a base, your taunt in PvP does not do anything since you're playing against enemy players and not computer players or NPCs. So what this instead does is it actually gives your taunt some use, making it increase the damage your target takes by 3% for each person attacking it, up to five people that attacks said taunted player. And as you attack the player affected by Tormentor, the debuff that is placed on them will refresh. So by taunting someone, you are gonna make them take a ton more damage. And then our last PvP talent is going to be Cleansed by Flame. Since we do use Immolation Aura heavily in this build, I figure taking a talent related to it for PvP would be great, and so this basically makes your Immolation Aura dispel all negative magical effects on yourself. Now, in terms of a more uh, a rotation section for Vengeance, this section is going to be a little bit different than the damage dealing section. And one thing I do want to want to touch on is that if you do not know how threat works, I recommend checking out my complete beginner guide as the understanding of threat is essential for playing a tank properly. Tanks also do play a little bit more dynamically than damage dealers because they typically are going to be responding to what is happening in any given instance as opposed to just going through some static rotation. Now, here are some things, though, to keep Keep in mind when tanking as a vengeance demon hunter you are going to want to use sheer to generate soul fragments and then consume those soul fragments with soul cleave to heal yourself or you could just walk over to them and pick them up also be sure to use immolation aura on cooldown as it deals a ton of damage generates fury and helps extend the duration of that fiery brand due to our talent build now speaking of fiery brand when against a particularly tough enemy or group of enemies, you're going to want to use this to reduce the damage that the enemy deals to you. Your Immolation Aura will make sure that this lasts as long as possible, and it will spread to multiple enemies thanks to the Burning Alive talent. Now, the third point I want to make is that when you want to quickly generate threat against one or more enemies, you're going to want to hit them with your Throw Glaive. You can also use Infernal Strike to make sure that you are getting... To enemies as quickly as possible that is kind of like the vengeance versions of fell rush and this will allow you to secure threat on them and protect your team as quickly as possible now as i mentioned earlier with demon spikes you want to use these if you're going to be taking a lot of damage because it helps increase your armor and gives you a chance to parry attacks which would totally nullify their damage now you're going to want to use fell devastation when you want to deal massive aoe damage as it is one of your strongest attacks the attack will also heal you and then put you into demon form after it's over thanks to demonic which will make you incredibly tanky finally you want to use your sigils as needed at any given time you sigil a flame to increase your damage and threat against targets sigil of mastery if you're heavily outnumbered and need to cc certain enemies and sigil of silence if you are against strong spell casters and want to prevent them from using their spells in terms of some additional offensive notes like i mentioned fell devastation is going to be your primary massive damage dealing skill along with sigil of flame so use those when you really want to increase your damage and in terms of any additional defensive notes as I kind of stated, Metamorphosis, Fiery Brand, which is what this build focuses on, and Demon Spikes are your main forms of defense. You're going to want to use them in a pinch when you feel that you need the defense or know a big attack is coming in. And again, in terms of some Shadowland specific information, to kind of play into the Sigil style of the Vengeance Demon Hunter, I would recommend going Kyrian for the Covenant for their Sigil skill. And then in terms of a recommended Legendary, I do recommend going Memory of Soul of Fire. Now, guys, with that being said, that is going to be it to me. It 
for me today <laughs> for my demon hunter beginner guide hopefully that you guys found this guide helpful and you did learn something from it and if you did i would appreciate if you left a like on the video if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and of course guys subscribe to the youtube channel here to keep up to date with all of the great world of warcraft content i'm putting out such as beginner builds pvp footage pvp builds tons of additional wow stuff coming out here on this youtube channel and you can find a written version of this guide over on my website dotsgaming.com so thank you all so much for stopping by today i very much appreciate it as always i'm dots gaming and i'll see you all in the next video